Hello Rambler fans and welcome to another edition of the Rambler Review as we're going to interview our new interim superintendent and we like to say new because we like to say that to all the young guys <laughs> Howard Knapp. Howard, welcome to back to McBain. Speaking of welcome back to McBain, you left how long ago? Oh uh, well I left in 1995 so that would that would put us, let's do the math, on 20, 35 years ago in December of 95. I got 25 years because, little known fact, he did hire me and this is my 25th year teaching. So 25 years you have been gone. Where, where have you been? What's been going on in your life since you left McBain? Well, I left McBain to go to uh, Berrien Springs Public Schools. And I was there for uh, uh, about five years, six years. And then I uh, was uh, asked to come to uh, Byron Center Public Schools. I was there from 2001, uh, let, retired in 2008. Yeah, and that's, that's where I've been. And in the in-between, I've had a lot of wonderful experiences. Uh, met, uh, uh, we met Muhammad Ali down in Berrien Springs. Uh, in fact, if you go to Berrien Springs today, there's a new track and soccer field and a little sports complex that we had the Muhammad Ali Gala, and they helped us raise quite a bit of money, and we matched a little bit from school, and uh, we had had that. That was a great experience. Byron Center was is fat, it was what, at the time was one of the fastest growing districts uh, in Michigan, and we had a lot of wonderful opportunities. We built a middle school and an elementary building, and touched probably every facility that we had with something and had just a lot of wonderful experiences. Well, awesome. So you've retired from uh, education at some point? I, yes, I, I officially, I, after almost 40 years uh, credit in the system, I, re, I retired in 2020. I guess it was 25 years since I've been here, wasn't it? 1995, yes. I did the math wrong, yeah, yeah 25. So and you, that's, that's when you started, wasn't it? That is correct. Okay. okay. So, why, why are you coming back to McBain after you decided to go and retire? Well, uh, I don't like the word retirement. Since I've retired, I've had uh, two businesses that I started. I've worked as an interim uh, 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 interim executive director of a, of a church. Uh, I have uh, been very involved with uh, oh, our condo association, different things. So. I use the word, I kind of refocus uh, my life a little bit, and now this opportunity I was reached out to, and, uh, and I feel very loyal to my family, and I feel very loyal to McBain. We've had great experiences here. My two children graduated from here. We have many friends that we stay connected, maybe through Facebook, and it gets a little difficulty with the, with the distance, but but, but we, we really like McBain. And with, uh, uh, with Steve uh, leaving the position, uh, it just needs somebody to, to, to get through an interim basis so we get to find our next great leader. Well, outstanding. So I don't know if you know this, but some things have changed since you left McBain. <laughs> uh, 25 years ago. 25 <laughs> years ago. What is different about today's McBain school compared to what we had 25 years ago? Well, in 1986, when I came, the, the facilities need badly, badly needed some improvements. And we made some, I think, some wonderful changes. We, uh, we passed a, a modest bond issue. We added uh, some, some to our facilities. Uh, then we had the opportunity to build a, a sports complex and new parking lot. And then we had the opportunity to build the community library. Now I come back, all those changes are, are still there. I see the, you know, what I call the new uh, multi-purpose room that was with the new kitchen. And, and we remember, well, highlighters in the band, we were able to do concerts there before we weren't, weren't able to do that. Uh, our gym, well, that, that's another story. but. So what I find different is there, I find this beautiful performing arts center, beautiful gymnasium. Uh, the additions to the elementary and the middle school are, are significantly uh, better 
and, and need it from, from when, when I was here. I was just naturally evolved, I believe. Uh, you know, I, today I walked through the building and went down to the middle school, uh, had an opportunity to interact with staff. Inter along the way, I stopped in the technology department, went down to elementary and seeing the names that are there, some are familiar names, uh, Mrs. For, uh, for Dean, Mr. For Dean, um, Mrs. Uh, T Taylor. Uh, I met with the elementary staff last week briefly, and I asked how many I uh, had either given diplomas to or uh, had worked here or hired, and you probably eight or nine hands went up, and we were reminiscing. And that happens, that's happening to it. That's why I came back. I, I was not interested in um, being an interim superintendent. I had many other opportunities to do that. Uh, but friends said, hey, would you consider? And I, and with our connections here and our loyalty here, uh, and to loyalty to both my children are doing well, I have grandchildren, uh, but the roots started here, the foundation started here for the kids with a great educational program. And I'm hoping, and what I see, I have no reason to believe that it's not better than it was when I left. And I'm very proud of that. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Well, this is going to be Howard Knapp. I'm going to let you know that we are going to be doing a monthly show with Howard as he's going to come and speak to the community from the superintendent's corner. And what kind of things are you hoping to talk about throughout the years? And what kind of thing do you okay. think the community needs to know about? Well, I'm really looking forward to that. In my in Byron Center, I was used to doing, uh, I had a little talk show. I think I told you I was the highest rated uh, uh, superintendent's <laughs> talk show. I remember I was the only one. Um, I, I there's, there's issues that we need to talk about. And I, I'd like to highlight as I go through, uh, looking at the needs of the district, uh, talking with, getting to know, I got, uh, a new board I have to get familiar with. I think there's, uh, I just like to talk to the community about what we're doing, planning, uh, and uh, apprise them of uh, how we're doing and finding the new superintendent. And just, just, just a lot of stuff. A lot, very highly interesting to me. I don't know. I hope I don't put people to sleep. No, no, you can't do that. That'd be wonderful. And we thank you so much for your time. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. You're getting acclimated back to McBain and from the uh, whole Rambler Nation, we just want to say to you, feel the wheel. Uh -huh.